So you just all read great it from his, the screen. All great leaders in history, all celebrities and stars, all heroes are whom they are because somehow they discovered their purpose and opted to pursue it deliberately or otherwise. The creator is a supreme being of diversity. You never meant that everyone should be the same, doing the same things. Take for example, if a man creates or build anything, does he just do it aimlessly without purpose? Not really. When we make a vehicle, we know exactly what it is meant to do. We cannot put a tractor to be a public service vehicle. We cannot use a car to plow. If we build a house, we know exactly what it is meant for and thus equip it appropriately. Isn't it therefore logical that the ultimate creator had to have a sole purpose for every creature and thus fully equip them for the predetermined purpose? I think so. It cannot be otherwise. Follow your heart and intuition. Then somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. If you join me in accepting the above stated reasoning, then you must also join me in this. You also have a purpose in life and as long as you are not pursuing this, your preordained purpose, you're not likely to achieve any level of happiness and fulfillment. Imagine a cow put to yoke for plowing instead of an ox. Imagine Mike Tyson, Iron Mike, put to a 100 meters race in the Olympics and not boxing. Imagine Mike, imagine Mike Jordan in a football pitch. No way, could that be you? Fully equipped and endowed for a certain field but trying luck in some other domain? I hope not. If you think otherwise, you are probably right. At this point, it is necessary for us to agree that if you look at your natural talents and gifts, you probably are not far from what you could do best. List some of the things you are naturally good at. Check your academics, your extracurricular activities, your heart, and your talents. If you group these things, you may be able to get a convergence. That should be able to point clearly what you were meant to be. Convergence between what you are good at doing and what you really love doing. And draws natural enthusiasm from. Enthusiasm that begets creativity and induces the extra mile principle in you. The extra mile principle lack of which success tends to elude many a pupil. It's never too late. In case you're in a different field and feeling pissed off, to relieve your purpose and rekindle your dream. You can do it. Uh, we know of people who joined athletics in their 50s and won gold medals at 80s. <laughs> Again, it is never too early. You are not too young. No, no reason can block you. Whether disability, background, education, whatever it may be. Nothing at all except you. I'm told of an African proverb that says, if there is no enemy within, the enemy without can do you no harm. It's not easy to become a big success in a field where you are not naturally or genetically biased to. I mean, in a field that is really foreign to your being. It may be difficult to believe or to conceptualize, but in order to illustrate this, imagine if Jesus Christ changed his life's mission from salvation and establishment of God's kingdom to fishing and feeding people with nutritious sea delicacies or building low cost houses to house the less fortunate or to running a carpentry workshop. 
perhaps very few would have noticed him and most likely not many would still be talking about him over 2,000 years later. Do you agree? How about Amadeus W. Mozart chose to uh, cho choice to how about um, um, if. Amadeus how about if Amadeus W. Mozart chose to pursue another discipline say law as opposed to music and for information it is said that Bill Gates parents had wanted him to and insisted that he should go study law what would have happened if he only bulged out of respect and followed the lead desires of his parents? Success is the progressive realization of a predetermined worthy ideal. Another example is this. Suppose Nelson Mandela chose to be a lecturer at, in a university, for example, Oxford University, lecturing political science, or if he ended up being perhaps a civil engineer in South Africa, maybe he would not have achieved nearly close to what he did in his political career. And that does not necessarily imply that such alternative paths are, me are mean or of less importance. We've had others in such fields who became great too. But every leader rises to greatness because of choosing to defy the common beliefs or logical arguments. And, and, then, then, daring, uh, and mm -hmm. then daring to follow what the heart shows him or her to be the right path. To many, the first consideration is how much can I earn doing this? And in many cases, it does not look promising that which your heart tells you to do. It is a wrong philosophy. It pays more, not necessarily in monetary terms, when you follow your bliss, as Buddha said. So here is the other truth you may want to, fall, to know. If you do what you love to do, money will find you anyway. When you are in a field that you are meant to be, you'll be having an unmatched passion that begets creativity and tenacity. Most of which are very essential Both ingredients. Of which. Mm. Both of which are very essential ingredients in your path to the top. Although it is important to know that you may have all the money without satisfaction, no happiness, no feeling of fulfillment. Following your passion will make you feel, look, and live much better, happier and healthier. The other approach is starting where you are. Could you possibly see how much value you are adding to the society and set something bigger for your legacy? That is suppose, for example, you are an accountant in a supermarket. Are you able to figure out how much contribution you are doing to the society? And even see the bigger picture and some contribution you could possibly make in that industry? Perhaps even writing a book about your subject to share your experience with others. Making an impeccable career and even teaching people this accounting or even contributing to a curriculum. And what if you are a driver? Could you work on yourself to be the best driver that ever existed? And even set up a school to help others learn how to drive skillfully and ethically? How about becoming the best driver who ever lived? Also in politics, could you be the politician who contributed the most to positive changes and made the world a better place to live in? And thus your spirit remains immortal in the hearts of your people? All these take courage and conviction over and above passion and purpose. You can do it. Now there could be another way to pick your life. Now that now that could be another way to pick your life purpose. If and only if you are able to derive considerable passion doing that which you currently do. Else go the other way, identify your true purpose and going for it. Mm. 